Okay, I'm going to export a photo. I'm going to re actually resize it using iPhoto on my Mac. Um, basically, you just select the photo. You'll notice up here I'm at 5,184 by 3,456 pixels, which is way too high for the MID. Uh, so I'm just going to go to File. I'm going to export this uh, picture. I want it to be a JPEG. I want to, um, medium is fine for the um, JPEG quality. The size, instead of full size, I want to make it a custom. The maximum width is 1920 and the maximum height is 936 pixels. So I want to go with the lower number. So I want to go with the, um, the height. And I'm going to put that 936 because I don't ensure that I am, I'm, I'm well below the 1920 um, pixels in width. So make it 936. And then I'm going to export. I'm going to export it to my desktop. I'm going to name it Resize. And then I click OK. Now I'm going to go to my desktop and find the Resize. I'm going to write, I'm going to control click on it. I'm going to get the info. And you'll notice that the image is now 1404 by 936, so it's below the 1920 by 936, so I'm good to go. Now that my photo has been resized, I need to uh, store it on my thumb drive. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind when you're doing this is that Honda requires that the um, the file actually be in the root of the um, thumb drive. So, uh, mean or the root meaning that it, it can't be contained in any folders. So, right now I've got my um, thumb drive. I just pulled it up. Uh, I want to click on my photo here. I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to drop it into here. So it's Mac Photo Resize. This is the root. If, if it was in this music folder, you wouldn't be able to select it as a wallpaper image. So that's all it is. It just means it can't be in any directory.